Hey lovelies, it's February 1st, 2019. Hi, I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant, and you're watching The Other Side of the Dash. It is time for my monthly health update. I can truly say that January was much better than months past. So let me go ahead and dive right in and tell you some of the things that I've changed, some of the things that I didn't change, uh, some of the things that helped, and some of the things that didn't help. And, um, and then I'll cap off with some of the things that I'm going to change. Uh, so let's start off with one of the biggest changes that I saw and it's one of the biggest thing that and it's it's one of the things that I have been doing the shortest amount of time uh, as you guys know that I have recently started to adopt the keto diet into my lifestyle and recently I just started trying the MCT oil the biggest change that I've seen in taking the MCT oil is in the last few months, my blood sugar levels have ranged anywhere from 165 to 199, which is actually better than months prior to that because I was running in the two, three, four, five hundred ranges. So it's coming down as you can see, but this change is very, very, very uh, great because in the last month or so, I've seen my levels go from 75 to 130 so that is very great the last uh a1c that i took was 7.2 which you guys that is the lowest my blood sugar level has been in years uh, the highest it has been highest it has been in the last few years is 12.6 so if you're a diabetic you know that that's a huge change doctors want to see your a1c six or below and i'm I'm heading that way. Uh, they consider under six to be controlled and I'm trying to have it where it's controlled because uh, as I'll explain later on in this video, I'm coming off my medication, whether my doctor takes me off my medication or not. Um, and before I go on, I want to give a disclaimer. This video is in no way encouraging anyone to go against their doctor's wishes to come off their medication or whatever. This is basically what I'm doing for Yolanda and what is working for me and what I'm doing for myself taking my health into my own hands and I'll explain it as I go along so I don't want anyone to say well I listened to Yolanda and she told me I'm not telling you to do anything I am just basically sharing my health journey with you guys and maybe somewhere along the way something will peak uh, your interest or something will click a light bulb will click and say well, I had the same symptoms or this happened to me and let me talk to my doctor or whatever the case may be. So I don't, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a, a professional in any way. I'm just a person who have had, who has had diabetes since 2005. I've been a guinea pig for various diabetes medications. I've been to the brink of point of almost death, almost amputation. I'm constantly being used to try this drug, this drug, this drug with this side effect, which has created other health problems for me. And I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. So um, I am trying to try other remedies on my own, uh, working some uh, holistic, some natural remedies in and that uh, will hopefully help with the longevity of my life. So that is a disclaimer. So you've been warned. And I will also put a, a, a disclaimer in the description box below because I am no in no way trying to uh, encourage anyone not uh, to anyone to go against their doctor's orders. But as for me, I will be going against some of my doctor's orders because I feel, and I've shared this in a previous video, that I don't feel my doctors are listening to me. I have fired doctors and gone to other doctors who I just feel are not listening to me. Um, they are quick to um, prescribe a pill, prescribe a pill, you know, and then prescribe a pill. Well, what, how much exercise do you think I should do? Well, with this pill, you shouldn't do any exercise because this will happen. 
you know, this pill, this pill, or take this pill. Well, this pill causes this pill. Well, take this pill because this pill will offset this pill. And, and I'm just getting sick of it. Um, I think I shared in a previous video, um, uh, one of my doctors prescribed, uh, actually one of my, pres my doctors uh, diagnosed me with fibromyalgia. And her a doctor that she works with was in one day because she could not, she was out of town, so I had to see him. And uh, I was letting him know I did not want cortisone shots because uh, I had had cortisone shots before and because of them I have uh, bad knees. And um, he was trying to give me this other prescription and I told him I really didn't want any more medications could he, you know, uh, prescribe physical therapy, some kind of exercises or something like that I could do. And um, the pharmaceutical company had been in the office the day uh, before or earlier and wanted him to try this medication on his patients. Now, mind you, I used to work in a medical uh, facility. I used to work in a fiber practice. So I kind of know how some of this goes. I, I, I worked with some of the ph pharmaceutical companies and the doctors on how the incentives they get for trying this on patients and this, and, you know, I, I, I've been on that side of the spectrum. So it just really, really shocked me and it shouldn't have, but it really shocked me the way he went about it. So he's trying to tell me about these medications after I told him I did not want the cortisone shots um, about this medication. And I told him, you know, you know, doc, save it. I, I don't want any medication. He literally got upset with me and said, be quiet. Let me finish my spiel. Let me finish telling you about this medication. Excuse me? No, I will not let you finish trying to sell me a drug that you're trying to kill me with. And I got up and I walked out. Be quiet and let me finish my spiel. Excuse me? <laughs> I was totally upset and I can tell you, I've never been back to that doctor or that doctor's office again. So, um, I'm not saying all doctors are like that by any means. I've had some caring doctors. But I am so sick of doctor after doctor just trying to throw a pill at me and then looking at the side effects. When the side effects create the same thing that you're trying to get rid of or they cause death or they cause this that creates another health uh, side effect that causes death. I, I'm, I'm just sick of it, you know. Um, I will be 50 in four months in June. And um, as you guys know, I'm raising my granddaughter. Um, I'm married. Um, I'm a writer, I'm a photographer, I'm a YouTube content creator, I'm, I'm a busy person, I'm, I'm a person, I'm, I, I have a life, and I want to be able to live that life to its fullest. Um, so I'm trying to do whatever I can, short of the doctors killing me with all this medication, to live my life. So uh, going back to the MCT oil, I've noticed a lot of changes in the less than two weeks that I have been taking it. Again, uh, the lowered uh, blood sugar. Um, I'm not going to quite say energy just yet, although I think energy, I'm not sure. And, and you're, you're, you're probably thinking, well, well, how do you know what it would make you say that? So let's go over to the subject of my IBS. I have IBS, which many of you know is irritable bowel syndrome. I have IBS-C, which is with constipation. I've had this as far as I can remember. However, the last year it has become so chronic that I just, it's been just so bad. So um, the doctor has, again, thrown pill after pill after pill after pill at me, nothing has worked. The last try, she tried Amatiza, that did not work. And then on top of that, the insurance did not want to pay for it. Um, what did work, um, I forget what it's called, and if I find the name of it, I'll put it in the description box below. It is the formula that they give you right before you take a, um, a colonostomy, which I will be taking right at my 50th birthday, a colonoscopy, colonostomy. How do you say that word? Colonos colonoscopy. Colonostomy. Colonostomy. Colonoscopy. Hey, Google. How do you say colonoscopy? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm a little senile. 
it's colonoscopy um, that liquid that they give you guys um, to take and you have to take it every 10 minutes to clean you out that was the only thing that kind of worked and it didn't work fully um, but I was able to get some relief um, I was not able to to go to the bathroom prior to taking that from Christmas up until two weeks ago yes you guys so I was literally full of bleep so um she finally said well my doctor finally said well we'll get you in maybe we need to see you see you for another appointment and then maybe we'll think about uh referring you to a GI and I just finally cut her off I'm like look uh forget about coming in for another appointment when just to skip that. Let's just go straight to the GI. What are we wasting time for another appointment for when I need to go to a GI? So I do have an appointment set up with the GI, but I've been taking this MCT oil along with um, a, a, a jar, a jar, a container of yogurt every day. And I have been going, not every single day, but I have been going. So I'm going to credit that to a combination of the MCT oil and the yogurt. And the reason why I say combination of, because I was eating the yogurt before and I wasn't really going like, you know, so I think it's a combination. So I'm, I'm seeing some changes with that MCT oil. Um, there are a couple more that I'm not going to say right now. I'm going to give it some more time before I give credit to that MCT oil. But I, I definitely see some changes with this MCT oil and how I take the MCT oil is I will put a tablespoon in my coffee. Now, one problem I have is I am a breakfast skipper. It's just something that I have never been able to do. I, I Every now and then I'll do it. I'll fix it for me and my husband. But if I get up and I start working and working on projects or whatever the case may be, if I'm into what I'm doing, I forget breakfast. My mind will say, go eat breakfast right when I finish doing this. Then something else will come up, something else will come up. And I just forget breakfast. Before I know it, it's lunch. And then it's getting close to dinner and sometimes I'll forget lunch. So, but what I will get though, is I will get that cup of coffee. So what I do now is I'll put a tablespoon of MCT oil in my coffee and I'll drink that. And they have now in the keto world, I believe it's called a coffee bomb where you put a, a teaspoon of coffee, uh, MCT oil in the coffee along with cream. And I believe that's it. Some put butter. Although I've had butter and it actually tastes good. It sounds disgusting, but it tastes good actually. Um, if you like caramel, salted caramel macchiato or something, you'll like the butter. But um, I do that so that way it actually, the, the, the fat, in the MCT oil help, helps me feel full because it's, it's sort, of, sort of a protein. Uh, and uh, I will um, not feel so bad about missing breakfast. So MCT oil, I've been taking that. So some of my medications I'm on right now. I am on the, um, I'm on Trulicity. Here is my Trulicity, which I take by injection in my stomach and I take it once a week and in each box there are four pins and it's really quite simple so like I said you can see here there are four in a box and each pin comes with enough insulin to um, last throughout the week and I notice when I take the insulin, it does not kick in for me. It's, it's long lasting. It does not kick in until maybe the next day. Uh, it takes one or two days for it to, it to kick in for me. And I notice that I always get nauseated probably around the, the first or the second day after I take it. Um, there you um, unlock it to the green. That's how you know it's uh, okay to go ahead and use it. So you click it to the green. And I'm sorry that it is blurry. My camera did not want to act right. You take the gray top off of it. And then you put the suction there onto your skin. And you press the top of the button until you hear a second click onto your skin. And that's how you know that the, um, the medicine 
or the insulin has been injected into your skin and how I always know because at first I didn't think that it was actually going in and I thought I was wasting insulin but um, I noticed that there is a trickle of blood each time um, I do inject myself so it is going in so this is Trulicity um, I do get this uh, it is covered through my insurance partly and I threw I do get an insurance card uh, which allows me to only pay $25 a month and uh, once you're finished you put the cap back on it and you discard it properly in one of those red containers and then um, I discard that properly so yes that is the Trulicity that I am taking once a week and there are four vials per month now I mentioned a moment ago that there are some findings that I'm seeing with this MCT oil that I don't want to mention just yet but if my findings are right I have three vials left of the uh, Trulicity before my prescription runs out by the end of the month you get four vials a month and then uh, I have to refill my prescription. If these findings are correct, I will not be renewing my prescription with Trulicity. I will stop taking that. And then I will try 30 days without it. And if my findings are correct, I will just keep on not taking it. And then I will give it another 30 days. And if the findings are still correct, I will wean myself off of the Jardians. And for a while, I will just be taking the metformin. And then I will go in for a checkup with my doctor to see how my numbers look. And depending on how my numbers look, I will start weaning myself off the metformin. So right now I'm taking the metformin three times a day. And uh, if I have to, I'll just start weaning it down to two times a day, to one times a day, and then eventually off. You guys, I need to come off this medication because this medication is killing me. So um, that is my choice. That is the choice that I'm making. Now I will say, when I did talk to my doctor about uh, the I, uh, IBS, she did say that part of the reason why my IBS has gotten worse than over the, pa the past year is because a combination of my Trulicity uh, and my Jardians it, some of the side effects is constipation. So she said that she was thinking about taking me off the Trulicity anyway. Well, I'm going to help her out. I'm going to take myself off the Trulicity. So um, I don't feel so bad doing that since that wasn't an option anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and, and just start doing it, doing it that way. Now, I, I'm, I'm also being proactive uh, in doing other things. I start taking supplements. And here are some of the supplements that I have started taking. So I started off with niacin. I've taken that for my hair and my nails. Uh, also, I am also taking the biotin also for my hair, skin, and nails. Uh, my hair has been falling out for a long time because of my treatments and my medication. So I'm trying to see if I can get it to grow back um, a little bit. And then I'm taking the B complex. I've been trying variations of this, the Super B, the B50, to see if I can get some energy um, going. And then I've heard this turmeric is very good, the turmeric uh, curcumin. I've been taking various uh, variations of that to see if that will help as well. In addition, I'm also taking calcium. Now, I have fibromyalgia and I'm hoping this will help with my bones because I have uh, a very low bone density, I believe, um, as well as magnesium. And I am help taking this also for, for my muscle function um, because uh, I, I'm very weak lately and um, I am told that the magnesium along with the calcium should help. Uh, we'll see. And I'm just taking this uh, peppermint oil because I heard peppermint oil is good for you. As I said before, I'm going to be trying various different supplements to see what works and what doesn't work. And potassium, uh, I'm trying to take this because I know you can get potassium from bananas, but bananas have high uh, carbs. So I'm trying this. And as you guys know, I am anemic, but I still need my iron, um, even though I had the constipation. So I'm trying that along with some other things. Um, hopefully... Hopefully that does not make my constipation worse, um, but we'll see how that goes. 
Um, now, this is more turmeric that I'm taking. I'm probably taking more than that, but I probably won't take the other one. Uh, but this is also for heart health. As you guys know, I've had two heart attacks. In addition to that constipation issue, I'm taking the colon cleanse. Um, I was taking another uh, uh, colon medicine. I stopped taking that. I don't recall the name right now. And then I'm also trying probiotics to see if that will also help with my constipation issues. Now, in addition to that, I use an app on my Android called Glucose Buddy, and you can get that on Android or Apple, and that helps me do a number of things. As with most apps, you have a free side and a pay side, but I think this free side has enough uh, features to do what I need it to do. Here you can see I can add my sugar uh, fasting before or after meals any time of the day. So it does what I need it to do. Now you can do different things on this app. So for an instance, you can check your or actually input your calories, um, quickly add your calories, or you can enter your blood pressure, your heart rate, and then also you can add your body weight, your body weight percentage or your body fat percentage you can also add your medicine which comes in handy for your doctors you can add your a1c which mine was 7.2 the last time and i'm so happy about that and then like i just said your uh, glucose you can add that throughout the day along with your carbs and other information um, you can get a uh, insight on what your history has been and an average and then there are other reports that come along with the uh, pay side there, $14.99, as you see there. Um, and then um, there are more features to the premium side. So um, the free side does enough uh, of what you need it to do. Another app I use is called My Fitness Pal. I love My Fitness Pal for so many reasons. Um, if it had a couple more features, it'd be the perfect fitness app. Uh, but you have a timeline where you um, can see different recipes and different tips. But here is my diary where I can set what time I eat my meals and what time I can track what I eat. Um, mine is set up different than the average person, but I can actually sync my Fitbit to actually uh, help with my exercise. Um, you can add items. They actually have updated the app recently. So um, this here gives you an idea of what you can do with the app. Um, and the things that you see here are things that have already entered into here that I've used before. So I don't have to continuously enter food that I eat on a regular basis. So um, I find that very handy. So these are just some things that I added because I am up various times of the day. You can add uh, your goal weight, your goal calories. Um, as you guys see there, um, I'm updating my date, my uh, weight right now. I'm at 170. So um, you can actually add a picture at each of your, uh, your uh, weigh-ins or however you want to do that. Uh, and then they have your, uh, you know, your, your uh, history, basically. That was back in 2017. I was at 200 pounds. So I'm doing pretty good. Not where I want to be, but um, as you can see here, it tracks your measurements. And let's see here, it says I lost 30 uh, pounds since I've uh, started. You have friends that you can actually have uh, to uh, help you. Let's see here. You can add your own meals, create your own meals, recipes, your foods, your, re your uh, workout regimens. Um, I don't have anything right now. I used to have exercises, but I deleted those because I want to create some more. This is my timeline, kind of like you do in Facebook and Twitter. Tells you everything that happens. Um, again, these are your stats and your progress. Again, the meal times that I create, you can create your own. This is stuff that I have on a regular basis. Again, with any app, you have a free side and a pay side. And right now, it has all that I need to do what I needed to do. The food, you can add how many servings, uh, how many calories, or whatever. This is just an excellent app to use. In December, I joined the gym. I joined Planet Fitness. Now, um, I will say I don't go to the gym every day like I want to, but uh, baby steps, I do go, and I'm just going gradually, and as I build up, I want to get to where I go five days uh, a week. My trainer, I have a trainer, and my trainer does have me uh, doing on a program, and what I do is, like on day one, I'll do something like, legs and abs and cardio 
Second day, I'll do shoulders, back, abs, and things like that. So I, he has me on a program. So what I want to do is do cardio every day, five days a week, and then do uh, the muscle workouts three days a week. And uh, you know, if, if I want, if I build up to six days, I don't want to do do seven days. I want to I want to rest. Um, so, but definitely I want to build up to five days a week. So I'm working on that again. I'm not five days yet not where I want to be, but I am going. So that's a good thing. Um, I had said before that, I mean, I have tons of workout equipment here. I have a bicycle. I have a, uh, elliptical machine. I have weights. I have tons of things here. And I had said that if I can prove to myself that I can work out at home, that I would buy myself a gym membership. But I realized that was just a cop out because I never use any of the equipment here. Um, because, and the reason why that was is because before I had uh, bought gym memberships and I never used them. But I realize now that I am more serious than ever to stay alive. Um, if for anything for my granddaughter, but definitely for myself, but if not for anything for my granddaughter. I look at that innocent face every day and I thought, I have got to be here for her. So um, I, I am I'm very serious. So um, again, I go. Not as much as I want to, but I go and I'm working up to that five days a week. And um, will I ever be that person that stays in the gym two hours a day? Probably not. I'm just going to be realistic about it. I live a busy, hectic life. That No. But can I give it an hour? Yes. 30 minutes cardio, uh, 30 minutes weight. I, I think I can do that. But two hours? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so um, I'm doing the gym. You guys, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking water. These water bottles from Fit and Fresh. This is the first water bottle that I've had where I actually can say I get my allowable daily uh, allowance of water. So if you, you know, find the right water bottle, you know, I'm not, this may not be for you, but find the right water bottle for you. I'll put the link in the description box below to this water bottle. Fit and Fresh has various other uh, water bottles, um, cute little water bottles. As a matter of fact, I'm going to order me a different water bottle because Papa and I have the same water bottle, but we could, well, I keep grabbing his water bottle and my water bottle, mixing them up because they are, they're identical. And, um, so just so we don't mix up each other's water bottle, they have the, the girly floral one. So I'm going to order me one of those, but I'll put the link in the description box below so you guys can have those links. And, um, they have some really, uh, uh, inexpensive ones. Um, the one that, that I just showed you here, it was only like $3, um, on Amazon and they have some for like 12 bucks. So, um, they have some for every, every budget. So don't let that be a factor of why you can't, um, order one. If you have Amazon prime, that's even better. You can get a $3 water bottle with free shipping for t in two days. So, so going back to the supplements, I know I'm all over the place here. I should have had a script here. Um, so going back to the supplements, I know it was a lot of supplements, but I don't take them all at once. I stagnate them throughout the day. So as you see here, I have a pill drawer and I take my supplements and I divide them in four sections. I really wish there was a better way to take supplements, but for right now, this works for me. There were times where I was just forgetting to take my medications, period. But this is broken down into four sections, uh, morning, noon, evening, and bedtime. And it helps me, uh, helps to remind me to take my medications and it goes for the entire week. And I just refill it every Sunday evening. And it really helps me a lot. Now I'd like to employ your help out there being on a keto diet, you know that it's a low carb diet. I have not been able to find a way other than orange juice to get my supplements down and keep them down. When I take them with just water, I vomit them back up. Uh, I can't use crystal light in my water because they have either the circulose or the um, aspartame and that gives me migraines. So I take them with orange juice so it can coat my stomach and my tongue so I don't gag and throw them back up. 
So if you guys can, and milk is not an option either. Milk, not an option. Um, so if you guys can find uh, or, or suggest to me a way to take these supplements without throwing them back up, um, I would really appreciate it if you can put that in the comment uh, description below or hit me up on Instagram at YMJ Author. I would really, really appreciate it um, because I'm really looking for a solution to do that. Uh, because the orange juice, uh, for eight ounces of orange juice, it's 29 grams of carbs. And I think that for a glass of orange juice, that's just ridiculous. So um, I need other options for that. Um, or some kind of uh, drink that doesn't have aspartame or circulose. Um, because again, that just gives me a migraine. So what I'm going to do more of in February, I'm going to work up and do more gym workout days. I'm going to increase even more water intake. I'm going to continue on my, uh, journey with taking my supplements and I might try to add a few more. I don't know. I've been researching some. I'll uh, get back with you guys on my next update and let you know if I tried any new ones, but um, try some different uh, supplements. Uh, I will, um, by the time I do my next update, I will have stopped my trulicity, but it will not have been a full month because like I said, I have three vials left um, at the end of the month. So when I come back with my next update uh, at the beginning of March, I will have just stopped my trulicity. So um, I will stop that and and that's pretty much it. I'm going to keep on being optimistic and positive and, and working towards being healthier. Um, if there are any changes in these medications, if anything goes awry, I will stop what I need to stop. Um, I will give you guys an update if I need to. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just keep on working out, keep up with the water, um, and um, keep with the MCT oil and see how that goes and keep up with my keto. Oh, I did want to let you guys know. So before I started the keto, I was at 178. I haven't weighed myself today, but I weighed myself yesterday and I was 171.8. So must be doing something right. So um, I'm doing really good and I'm, I'm very happy with the results. Now, if I can figure out something to help with this fatigue, I have very, very, very chronic fatigue. We're still trying to figure out the results of that. Uh, the doctor wanted to give me another iron, iron transfusion. I declined that because after I got the bill for the last one, I said no. Um, as you guys can see, I am taking an iron supplement. Hopefully that with the foods I'm eating now, uh, I'm eating a lot more vegetables uh, that have iron in them. Hopefully we can figure out uh, what's causing this um, this fatigue because I, I truly believe it's a lot more it goes a lot deeper than an, an iron deficiency well folks i'm yolanda you've been watching the other side of the dash if you like this video and like to see more videos like this make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification button as well so you don't miss a video all links are in the description box below please follow me on instagram Subscribe to all my other YouTube channels and you can also follow me on Twitter YMJ author Until next month or until the next video Salute and happy health to you. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye